Welcome back. We continue to hop the border and go back to North Dakota to see where some of the top high school players in the state have chosen to play their college football. And for that, we are rejoined by our North Dakota high school expert in Jody Norstead. So Jody, how many players from North Dakota ended up signing to play D1 football today? Thanks, Kelly. It sure has been a fun day, hasn't it? Right now, my count is at 10, and we have an 11th that we'll talk about who plans to sign coming up in February. So some pretty good numbers, and the best part, they aren't going very far. All 11 are either playing at North Dakota State or the University of North Dakota. Let's start with the young men that signed with NDSU today. Here's the list of eight. Three of them are scholarship players, and the other five are recruited walk-ons. Ogbu, Evans, and Ewing are the scholarship players. The walk-ons are Jake Kubis from Trinity, Jake Cava out of Shanley, Ben Hogarth from Oak Grove, Trey Steckler, a tall tight end from Mandan, and Mark Stump, a linebacker from Bismarck High. Ogbu might be the most intriguing of them all. He moved over to Bismarck from Nigeria three years ago because his parents wanted him to try and get a better, better education and a better life. He really didn't know anything about the game of football, so he is a raw talent, but a special one at that. He tells me he's ready to go to work for the Bison. You know, play, play in the playoffs, and uh, every day I watch him on TV, uh, and I was like, man, this is exciting. This is this. I just dream of the moment of being out in the field, you know, and wearing a Bison jersey right now. And I can't wait to have the opportunity to do that. The first thing is for me to get, you know, physically I have to get bigger, you know, I have to, you know, start hitting the weight room hard. He has a gift to be able to rush the passer because he's got great length. He's, he has unbelievable hips. He'll have to learn a little bit more about the game of football, but all of them are. There's going to there can be anybody that's going to come in here ready-made, uh, but just his unbelievable athleticism and ability to run and ability to change, change direction and his length. Let's go even farther west. Here's a look at what Dylan Evans can do. This guy is a behemoth, standing at 6'3", 243 pounds from Williston to Bison. Like him at that defensive tackle spot, he's a two-time All-State performer after moving from Georgia. We featured Jaden Ewing's story yesterday. He's a three-year starter that finished with a school record 31 sacks in his career at Watford City. Ewing is going to be 21 years old when he first steps on campus after his two-year LDS mission. Chris Kleiman described him today as one of the most dominant players in the state of North Dakota. This was the scene at Shanley High today as Deacon's All-State linebacker Jake Cava signed on the dotted line to walk on for the Bison. Cava finished his career with a whopping 312 tackles. He was hampered by injuries this season that sidelined him for three games, but when he's healthy, he is a force to be reckoned with. Cava says this is truly a dream come true. Obviously being uh, growing up in the Fargo-Moorhead area and just kind of seeing what their body of work is the last decade, I mean, it's unprecedented in uh, FCS football, just the championship culture. It's hard to say no when they come asking. Originally they were looking at me kind of for a fullback tight end and they switched me back over to linebacker towards uh, the end of my season this year as a senior playing for Shanley. And I, I'm a defensive guy. I really like playing defense and just kind of the physicality of the game. Let's stay in Fargo. Oak Grove running back Ben Hogarth is going to join the green and gold as a walk on too. Here he is signing earlier today. Hogarth has one of the most vicious stiff arms you'll meet in the state. He rushed for over 1,800 yards and 20 touchdowns last year. Oh, he also piled up 133 tackles. He's only 5'10", 195, but every ounce is muscle, and he's ready to get even stronger as a member of the Bison. The passion and energy around football, just that's the thing there, and that's what I like to do. That's my thing. It's, uh, it's a ground and pound. Uh, running scheme. That's just something I think I can fit in well with. So congrats to that group going to play for the Bison. Kelly, now we talk about the trio going to UND. We start with Noah Sickler, a wide receiver and defensive back from Dickinson Trinity who will receive a partial scholarship. Sickler is 6'2", 180 pounds. It sounds like they're going to use him as a receiver. So decent height, but they'll definitely want him to get stronger. He's a playmaker. In one game earlier this year, Sickler had three catches for 81 yards, two of those for touchdowns. He added three interceptions on defense and then had two return touchdowns on special teams. All those words I just said, that all happened in one game. He'll be a weapon on that turf inside the Alaris Center. Fargo South's Victor Isaac is a 6'1", 205-pound linebacker who plans to sign with the Fighting Hawks in February. So he didn't sign today. He'll go in February as a preferred walk-on. He's led the EDC in tackles in each of the past two seasons. High ceiling guy could be a great fit for that 3-4 defense. Here's Isaac on his decision to head to Grand Forks. 
Yeah, they have a really great linebacking core. Uh, Eric Schmidt, my recruiter, and also the linebacking coach, does a fantastic job with that part of the uh, with that part of the defense and the defense in general. So I'm really excited to get up there and have him coach me. It's going to be great. I'm just trying to become a better football player every every day, and I think he can help me do that. They said they like, you know, I'm a local kid. I've been around, and uh, they like the way I play. They like the way uh, how I'm aggressive. Now, Isaac won't be the only EDC player heading to UND. The other is Red River wideout Tyler Burian, a preferred walk-on. It's 6'4", 205 pounds. Burian will have a chance to develop into a solid target in that passing game. Kelly, it was a busy day, but boy, was it ever fun. Congrats to all these young men. Back over to you. All right. Thanks so much, Jody. Well, next on Midco Sports tonight, in case you missed our signing day coverage earlier in the show, we'll bring you a quick recap of all the action. Stay tuned.